Hi friends, Allie here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet these candy cane and gift appliques. These patterns are part of a crochet advent calendar series I've been working on. If you're not familiar with the series, then check out my advent calendar playlist here on my YouTube channel, or head over to my website, theturtletrunk.com, where it has all of the info and all the free crochet patterns to make an advent calendar. But even if you're not making the advent calendar, you can still make these appliques and you can use them for whatever you'd like. You can sew them onto projects or add a hanging loop and use them as decorations. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's head over to our supply list and let's get making. For these patterns, you'll need medium four weight yarn. I'm using red, white, and yellow. You'll need about 11 yards of red, four yards of white, and five yards of yellow. Feel free to use any other colors you'd like though. You'll also need a 3.75 millimeter or F crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. We're gonna make the candy cane first and starting with our red yarn. You're gonna start with a slip knot on your hook and then chain 15. Now for row one, starting in the third chain from the hook, we're gonna work a double crochet. Then we're gonna double crochet into the next chain, but we're gonna change colors on the final pull through. So we're gonna start our double crochet as normal. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops. But now before doing that final pull through, we're gonna drop our red yarn and pick up our white yarn and do that final pull through with our white yarn so that we're ready to start the next stitch with our white yarn. We're gonna keep our red yarn attached as we're gonna be going back and forth between the red and white. Now with white, we're gonna work a double crochet in each of the next two stitches. And on the second double crochet, we're gonna change colors again so before finishing that final pull through, we're gonna drop our white yarn, pick up our red yarn and do the final pull through with our red yarn. Then we're gonna double crochet again in the next two stitches with our red, change colors on that second double crochet. So drop our red, pick up our white, Then double crochet again in the next two chains with our white. Then we're gonna change to red on this second double crochet. So, so far we should have eight double crochets worked, four white and four red. Now working into the next chain, we are gonna work three double crochets all into the next chain. This is gonna help make the curve at the top of our candy cane. So three double crochets all with red in the next chain. And on the third double crochet, we're gonna to change to white on that final pull through. Then we're going to double crochet three again into the next chain with our white. And on the last double crochet, we're gonna change to red. So before doing that final pull through on the third double crochet, we're gonna change to red. Then double crochet three into the next chain with our red. We're gonna to change to white on the third double crochet. And 
We only have two chains left. So in that next chain, we're gonna work two double crochets. On the second double crochet, we're gonna change back to red. And in the last chain, we're gonna work another two double crochets. And there we have our little candy cane applique. So you can cut off both your red and white yarn and weave your ends in on the back. And then if you'd like, you can add a hanging loop. And here we have our little candy cane applique. Now we're on to the gift applique. We're gonna start with our yellow yarn and begin with a slip knot on our hook and then we're gonna chain nine. Now working back into our chain, we are going to work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook, then single crochet in each of the next two chains. On that third one, we are going to change to our red yarn. So before doing that final pull through on that third single crochet, we're gonna drop our yellow yarn and pull through with our red yarn. We're gonna keep our yellow yarn attached as we'll be picking it up again. Now we're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches with our red yarn. On that second single crochet, we're gonna change back to yellow. So start your single crochet as normal, but before doing that final pull through, drop your red, pick up your yellow, and do the final pull through with our yellow. Then we're gonna single crochet in each of the last three stitches with our yellow yarn. So at the end of row one, you should have a total of eight stitches across. Now we're gonna chain one and turn. Now we're onto row two. For row two, we're gonna single crochet in each of the first three stitches with our yellow yarn. On the third single crochet, we're gonna to change to our red yarn. Now that we're working on the back side of our applique, we're gonna be picking up and dropping on the side closest to us so that all of our loose ends are on the back. Single crochet in the next two stitches with red. On the second single crochet, we're gonna change back to yellow. And then with our yellow yarn, we're gonna single crochet in each of the last three stitches. They're gonna chain one and turn. And for row three, we're gonna work the same thing. So three single crochets with yellow, two single crochets with red, and then three single crochets with yellow again. On the last single crochet, we're gonna change to red so that we're working row four, starting with our red. And we're gonna chain one and turn. And now for rows four and five, we're just gonna work one single crochet in each stitch across using our red yarn. So at the end of row four, we're gonna chain one and turn. Then for row five, single crochet into each stitch across. And on the very last single crochet, we'll change to our yellow yarn. And 
So on the final pull through of that last single crochet, we're gonna change to yellow. And then chain one and turn. And now for row six to eight, we're just gonna copy what we did on the bottom. So we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches with yellow, work two single crochets with red, and then another three single crochets with yellow. So we're gonna repeat that for the next three rows. So I've just reached the end of row eight, so this is what our gift should be looking like. Now we are going to tie off our yellow yarn and we're gonna use our red yarn to make a border around the gift. So I'm gonna cut off my red yarn, leaving a long enough tail that you can weave in the end on the back. And now using our red yarn, we're gonna make a border around the gift. So with the right side of the gift facing you, we're gonna pull that strand through one of those top stitches there. So just pull the yarn through like so and chain one. Then we're gonna work a single crochet in each stitch across the top. When we get to the corner, you're gonna work a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, all into that corner stitch and that's gonna help us round out the corner nicely. And then just working the rest of the way around the gift, you're just going to single crochet in the edge down the side, in each stitch around the edge, in each corner, you're gonna single crochet, chain one, single crochet. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. When you get back to the top, we're gonna just join to the very first single crochet we worked with a slip stitch. And then we are gonna tie off our red yarn and then you can weave in all of your ends on the back and then we'll move on to the bow. I'm gonna use my red yarn again for a bow and I'm gonna start with a slip knot on my hook and chain five. Then starting in the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna single crochet in the next four chains. Then chain one and turn. For row two, we're just gonna work one single crochet in each of the four stitches across. Then you can cut off your yarn and weave the ends in on the back. And then we're just gonna cut a six inch long strand of yarn to wrap around the center of the bow. So here I've cut a six inch long strand of yarn. So I'm gonna place it in the center of that little rectangle we made. And I'm just gonna tie it right in the middle. So it's centered like so. I'm gonna secure that with a knot. You wanna make sure that it's nice and even before you secure it down. And then I'm gonna wrap those strands around a few more times. Then secure it again on the back. and then you can sew it to the top of the gift. And there we have our gift applique. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out my website or the playlist here on my YouTube channel for the rest of the advent calendar tutorials. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.